it's Natasha and today I'm here to show you our second grade social studies curriculum choices which are these Lakeshore learning resource boxes. We have the United States resource box and the landforms and mapping resource box. All right so first we have the landforms and mapping resource box. We're going to use this one first. This is the top of the box. It has the little map of our world and I'm going to turn the box over so you can see this. It comes with two 14 by 18 write and wipe chart charts, six writing prompts with wood stand, 10 photo cards, 10 reading comprehension cards, 40 static clean pieces, a landform riddles flip book, where in the world is our school write and wipe book, landform mold, globe, compass, and a teacher guide. Okay, so the first thing that we have in this box is these two huge laminated charts. I can't get them all in the frame because they are so big. But we have the mapping where our ancestors came from and reading a map. And these will be used during the activities. So we have a globe here. We have these um, sticky clings here, this package. We have the landform molds here. Uh, we have this here, and you put the cards in it to hold it up, and I'll show you these. The compass here, but we also have this fun flip book. So it's got uh, these little rhymes here, and then you're supposed to find the matching one. So this one would be river, so they would flip until they find river, and that sort of thing. And the answer is on the back there. And then we have Where in the World is Our School? This is a book. Now, of course, if you're doing this at home, you know, we could do Where in the World is Our Home instead of school. But this is, um, reminds me of Me on the Map, if you're familiar with that book. So it's super big. I can't even get it in the whole frame, but you get the idea here. And they have information about them like volcano, desert, canyon, glacier, peninsula, island, waterfall, prairie or plain, mountain, and lake. Then we have these uh, writing prompt cards, where in the world, my classroom map. This is one of the activities you might want to change or just not do if you're doing this at home. So instead of draw a map of your classroom, you could do draw a map of your house or something like that. Tell all about it. Lovely landforms. What a place and an exciting adventure. And then we have these reading comprehension cards, oceans and continents. And so it has a passage for them to read and then questions for them to answer. And they can use um, a dry erase marker on these mountains, volcanoes, rivers, maps, stating the facts, oceans of fun, a day at the park, Nancy's neighborhood, and views of the world. And so now we have the activity guide with reproducibles. So that is awesome because these are reproducible. Okay. So it's designed to meet these objectives, social studies and language. So for social studies, students will use maps and globes to locate the seven continents and five oceans. Students will read simple maps using cardinal directions and map symbols, and students will identify geographical features and landforms. In language, students will demonstrate reading comprehension by identifying answers in text. Students will recall and restate facts and details in expository text. And students will write brief narratives and expository pieces. And then it again, it includes what's included and using the landforms and mapping resource box. So then we have the table of contents. I'll zoom in a little bit here. So there are 24 activities. However, some of these activities you could do over multiple days. So you can definitely get over 30 days worth of activities out of this. Okay, so activity one, getting to know a globe. 
Activity two, making a globe. Now I will mention that there are a few supplies in some of these activities that do not come in the box and you will need to get yourself. So most of the supplies do come in the box, but for example, this making a globe activity, it doesn't include uh, balloons and news newspaper strips and starch and paint and paint brushes and glue and crayons and markers and scissors. But this is a super fun hands-on activity, so you could choose not to do it, or you could just uh, get those supplies to do it. And then we have the reproducibles here. And then activity three, getting to know a map. Activity four, where in the world is our school? And so some of these activities, like I said, with that book, you might want to change it to where in the world is our house or something like that. And then we have mapping vocabulary. And sometimes there are extension activities like this one, have children put the words in alphabetical order, have children write a sentence using each new vocabulary word and have children act out each word or play a game of charades. So sometimes you'll see extension activities to do. Activity six, a landform book. Activity seven, a physical landform model. So this comes with the model, but doesn't come with the salt, flour, paint and paintbrushes and nonstick cooking spray. You would need that from your house, but you probably have that stuff in your house anyway. Landform riddles and then mystery picture and then mapping where our ancestors came from. Now this is supposed to be where uh, everybody in their class tells where the ancestors came from and you map it, but you might want to do it differently. Um, if you're hooked up with Ancestry.com, that's a great place or if you just have a really good um, family history of where your ancestors are from but so you could you know alter this to fit the family instead of the classroom and then we have this activity 11 reading comprehension that's with those uh, reading comprehension cards I showed you and you could really do a separate day for each of those so you could really spread that out you could also add a book to go along with it like a read aloud that you're going to do or you could spread this out this particular activity out and do it you know, do one a day or something as you're going through the rest of the activity. So there's really a lot you can do here. And this, it's talking about maybe um, using it as a center. So you have, you know, more than one because you're going to use it as a center. So those are just some things to keep in mind. Region poster, writing prompts. This is another one that you could either spread out across the days as you're doing it or set aside multiple days to do that because there are multiple writing prompts. Cardinal directions. Our traveling mascot, reading a map, writing directions, making a classroom map, so you could do making a home map or something, making maps of stories, using a map scale, graphing our ancestry. This is probably the only one that you really just straight up couldn't do in the home because you don't have multiple kids. Um, to graph their ancestors, but you could, if you're really creative, come up with something else. I think we'll just skip that one. Then volcanoes, and then a volcanic eruption. Again, this has you know materials like plaster of Paris, baking soda and vinegar, things like that, to make that volcano that obviously don't come in the box. Erosion, and that is it. Then we have the United States resource box. The top of this box has a blank map of the United States. And let me flip this over to show you what this comes with. Two 14 by 18 write and wipe charts, six writing prompt cards with wood stand, 10 photo cards, 10 reading comprehension cards, two US flags, Declaration of Independence replica, Statue of Liberty replica, Liberty Bell replica, ballot box, and teacher guide. So the first thing we have here is the Declaration of Independence replica. That's super cool. I kind of want to frame that or something. Maybe I will put that in my homeschool room. And then we have this huge American symbols chart where a symbol when created purpose and interesting facts. And then this huge a branch, branches of government chart. And since there's nothing to really write on this, I think this would go great on the wall as well. Okay, so the other things that we have in the box is this vote here box and it's already put together. I'm like, hallelujah. <laughs> so I got the vote here box. We have the Statue of Liberty replica. We have the Liberty Bell replica, which is actually a pencil sharpener, double bonus. We have our two flags. 
and we have our little stand here. So we have our cards here, the White House, the Capitol, the Bald Eagle, Independence Hall, the Jefferson Memorial, the Liberty Bell, the Lincoln Memorial, Mount Rushmore, the Statue of Liberty, and the Washington Monument. So we have Read All About It, If I Were President, Poetry in Motion, Places I Have Been, Letter to a Friend, and Which Would You Choose? So we have our reading comprehension cards and these are just like the ones in the landforms and mapping box where they read the passage and answer the questions on the bottom using a dry erase marker. And isn't that so much fun to use a dry erase marker instead of a pencil? So we have the legislative branch, the executive branch, the judicial branch, the United States flag, the Pledge of Allegiance, the voting process, United States geography, Washington DC, the Constitution, and Independence Day. Okay, again we have the activity guide with reproducibles. And so it's designed to meet these objectives. Social studies, students will recognize and know the symbols of the United States. Students will understand the three branches of government and students will recognize and understand the significance of important American documents. And then it has what's included and then using the United States resource box and then the table of contents. So in this one, there is 26 activities. Then we have activity one, vocabulary words, acrostic poem. Again, it has reproducibles right in here. Mystery picture, writing prompts. So that's again, one of those things you could spread out or just do multiple days. Reading comprehension, same thing with those. Spread out or do multiple days. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance, state facts book. So this is where each student in the classroom is supposed to like choose a different state, but you could just maybe choose your state and just do that for that activity. U.S. Monuments and Symbols, Statue of Liberty, Statue Science. So they even tied in a science experiment with the pennies and vinegar and all that. So I love that. I just love how it's cross-curricular like that too. Uh, Liberty Bell, Sounds of Liberty. So again, there's some things that you may not, may not be in the box, but are pretty easy to get like string and wire coat hangers and metal spoons. And you'll notice that anything in bold is something that comes in the box and anything not in bold is something that you'll need to provide. So for Stars and Stripes, it has the two US flags and the flag reproducible and the United States flag reading comprehension card, but you'll need to provide red, white, and blue construction paper and scissors and glue, so pretty basic. And then branches of government, seals and symbols, declaration of independence, monuments and milestone posters, monuments and milestones timeline, US symbols and concentration, and then a class election. So that again might be something you have to alter, but I still think that would be pretty fun. And then surveys and graphing, patterning, plot points. So even getting into math here, White House math, well, there we go. <laughs> Penny probability, <laughs> uh, USA Day. And that is it. I am going to be adding books. Lakeshore does have book packs that they recommend to go with each box. And I'm probably not going to purchase them from Lakeshore just because Lakeshore is so expensive for books, but I will probably use thrift books or the library. They only have like four or five books in each pack, but I think I will add some more. But I didn't know all the topics that were covered in here until I got it. So that's one thing you can't see on the Lakeshore website and why I wanted to do this video because you can't see the topics that are covered. I mean, you can guess based on the title of the box, but I really didn't know. So I really didn't know what books I wanna get. So now I'm going to be in the planning stages of planning the books that I want to use too, but I'll make sure to do a separate video on that. But I will link the book packs that Lakeshore has just in case you want to get some ideas for those. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day.